Uh, greetings. Uh, I'm going to uh, explain this uh, floor plan for a two-room rural home in Afghanistan uh, from uh, confined masonry. Uh, this is uh, uh, the entry. Uh, it's a kitchen, this large area from here, five feet, for 15, almost 20 feet. Uh, and uh, with this uh, 12 and 6, about 18 feet. Uh, and uh, there is a, a bathroom, which is just a washing area. There's no toilet, nothing. And uh, this is a sunken uh, oven, which is common in the uh, in, in, uh, rural Afghanistan, especially in the cold areas. And under the floor, there are three tunnels. Heat, one tunnel, two, three. This is for heat. The heat comes from the oven into this uh, bathroom. There's a built-in uh, water tank to heat that one. And then goes through a chimney here. And so all the heat has been used. It heats up this area, so it's heat tunnels with the two inch thick stone slates. The stone slates uh, absorb the heat and then slowly releases to the, uh, uh, to the surface above. The same thing goes on this side. This is close to the tunnel, that's why the water heater is here. But this area, there's, this, there's no water heater. There's not much heat going there. The same thing, the tunnel on that side to the, uh, the, the uh, chimney. Uh, the, these numbers, the ground level is zero. There's one step plus seven inches, <clears throat> which is by, for IBC International Building Code. And then the next uh, will be the actual porch. It's a covered porch. There's a column here, which is I forgot to, to hatch it. This will be 14, so 7 and 7 and 14, another step 21, and another step 28, which is 7, 7, 7, 7. 4, 7 is 28. This is finished floor of the house is 28, 28 inches above grade. And then here, the entry here again, 7 inch, 14 inch, this is 21 inch. Uh, this is one step below the, the guest room. And there's another step here. This one is makes it 28 and 28. The oven is, the bottom of the oven is zero. That's at the ground level. And then this is about 28 inch deep. Here, there's a, there's a pit for, uh, for uh, firewood and also for air, uh, air um, uh, uh, ventilation for the uh, intake air at the bottom of the oven. Uh, this is uh, 27, this is 28. This will be uh, seven inch below, that's 14, seven, zero. So this pit is the same level as the oven. And this area is 36 inches, about a few inches above this one. So somebody, uh, kids, somebody cannot fall into it or into this pit. Uh, when you come here, this is again 28 inches. This is one step here. And uh, the bathroom, this is the same level. And it uh, goes uh, to the corner and go through a chimney. This could be sheet metal. But these are about eight inch wide, about a foot deep uh, tunnels, a few inches below the top of the, of the oven. So the, the heat and the smoke goes here and here and goes through these chimneys at the corners. The corners, uh, I'm not taking any space in the wall because it weakens the wall. So it's in the corner, it's much, it's kind of a useless uh, corner anyway. Uh, take some uh, space to take like a sheet metal chimney to, to the roof. There are windows, window here, here, and here for air and ventilation. Uh, there's a window in the bathroom. Just just the bathroom is just a conscious slab uh, with the just a drain here. This the round hole is a, is a drain or could go through the wall. Uh, to what to shake a shower or make wazoo or something like that and uh, same thing here so this is uh, basically the layout of a house let me show you the elevation this is the elevation these are confined masonry the bricks is exposed i would like to leave them exposed so others can learn from it uh, finish from inside but outside to make a good good uh, finish to the uh, actually bring joints but do not cover it with plaster we can cover it, but uh, I want to leave it open so others can learn from it. And the sheet metal roof is optional. It could be either a, a concrete slab, or if we put a sheet metal, we have to have uh, some kind of tie beams so to combine to tie the front and the back walls together and uh, design some kind of a diaphragm so take the lateral in and out load. And this is the right uh, elevation. Uh, this is the front elevation, or the rear elevation. The front elevation is above. The kitchen window is a little bigger, one the front one in the back, because there might be some smoke, so they go open for ventilation. Actually, I've seen these with, uh, we had it our own home when I was a child. It worked perfectly. There was no smoke, nothing. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the left view. That's about it.
I hope this explains uh, the concept.